Hello, in this video, I'm going to provide you with a basic overview of how to use Canvas. Uh, Canvas is the Sioux City Community Schools learning management system that you may or may not be familiar with. Uh, so first off, when you uh, log into Canvas, what you'll see uh, is that if you click on courses, uh, there may be just a ton of courses uh, that you see available in Canvas. And so uh, once these all load up, uh, one of the first things I'd recommend you do is take all the courses that you're actually interested in seeing and put a star next to the ones that you want to show up uh, in Canvas on the regular. Uh, when you do that, if you click on courses, as opposed to all of those courses showing up, uh, you'll just get the ones that you are interested in. Uh, second off, uh, when you join up in Canvas, uh, all of your teachers are gonna organize things a little bit differently, uh, but uh, viewing things from the student view here, Uh, what all of your teachers should have is a home screen that sort of looks like this one with the course name, uh, with some Teams links that I'll talk about in just a moment, uh, with their name, how to contact them, uh, and their schedule. And so when you see this, uh, one of the first things, most important things, is how are you going to join uh, your Teams meetings? If you click on the link that should be at the top of each teacher's screen, uh, it will direct you to a, a module. Uh, where you have virtual class meetings. So it should be at the very top of your screen. Uh, you can click on that and then you can join your team's meeting. There should be a link that's included. Uh, depending on the teacher, uh, again, organization will be different, uh, but the way I have everything organized in Teams is by modules. And so if you look in the modules, uh, what you'll see is that every day is gonna have just an overview of what the given topic is, content, language, objectives, and the different assignments that you'll be working on. Uh, and so that is where I'd go uh, to find what is uh, going to be happening for the day. Uh, some students really like to use the calendar in uh, Canvas to keep track of what assignments are due on what particular dates. Uh, maybe a little bit overwhelming uh, initially, uh, but what you will see is on the screen here uh, each day and what particular assignments are due. Uh, and so if you wanted to click on those different assignments, it'd give you an overview of what you're supposed to take care of. Uh, for them. Uh, finally, just a, another thing that many students like to do uh, is to check up on what they're missing using the gradebook uh, in uh, Canvas. And so if you click on grades, all of your grades will show up. Uh, what you would look out for is any grades that are in red that would indicate things are missing uh, or anything that's marked as a zero that you would go through and uh, fix to improve your grade. Uh, within Canvas itself, if you click on modules and you click on a particular assignment, again, each teacher will have different uh, amounts of detail that is included. Uh, but if you click on a given assignment and pull that up, uh, there are many different ways that you can submit assignments on Canvas. Uh, that'll be designated here. And so in this particular case, you may submit a website URL uh, or you may submit things as a text box entry. Uh, or a file upload. And so the way that you submit things will be a little bit different, uh, but uh, uh, you may see a rubric for grading, or you may see uh, just a description of what to take care of on a particular assignment. And so when you submit an assignment, uh, there will be different options sometimes on how you can submit things. Uh, you can write comments uh, and your teachers can write in comments for given assignments uh, when you submit them. Uh, finally, the last thing I look out for in Canvas is there is on the left-hand side here, a icon that says inbox. Uh, sometimes your teachers will send out mass messages uh, or individualized messages if you're missing assignments uh, or um, just anything else to communicate. Uh, if not done by email, check the inbox every day or so. Uh, there will be a little icon that pops up one or two if you have different messages in here. Uh, that's the end of this video, just summarizing how to use Canvas. Uh, thank you very much. Have a great day.